Just released here in the past month or so, I think. And uh, it's very much like a peacock, or so it would seem. You know, it's got a pretty nice little graphic down the bottom there. Level, gain, tone, and a voice, and a triode position switch here. Just like the peacock. So, what is it? Well, according to the manufacturer here, you know, just some of the highlights here. It's a touch-sensitive germanium-driven pedal. And, uh... It complements the Statesboro Bluesman pedal and the Peacock pedal. We'll see about that. And, and the germanium transistors help add the natural wood tone and gives you that hollow honk Dwayne tone that's been described a good bit with the Fillmore East recordings. And it's looking, you know, for the classic rock of Billy Gibbons, Peter Green, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, great, but that's not what I care to hear about. So what I'm gonna do today is just kind of go through it with a little bit of experiences I've had with it. I'm not a demo kind of a guy, I'm a bedroom player. So you're not gonna hear everything that this pedal can do because I don't know everything it can do. I just know what I've gotten out of it and what I enjoy. I don't know yet how I decide how I'm gonna use it personally. I love what I just heard but I do know there's, it's capable of a lot more, so I'll spend more time experimenting with it. And later on, I'll do some more clips and whatnot showing how well it does work with a Peacock and a Statesboro Blues pedal. And actually, as well with the amp, see if I can turn the amp down to get a cleaner tone and to see how well this handles those 3 a.m. bedroom sessions where you can't disturb your family. Um, real quick, the amp that I'm using, just got it in as well. It's one of the new Fender Tone Master Series twin reverb amps. And uh, I also have the Deluxe Reverb amp if you've seen some of my other videos. So I really, really like these amps a lot. They're great pedal platforms and uh, they're, they're great by themselves. They've got the attenuation built in. I currently have this on the five watt setting, mainly because I, I couldn't really get any louder without it being this close without it blowing my head off, so I felt that there was no need to. I've got it cranked up to eight, so I'm getting some natural drive, and we'll use the Peacock to help, uh, I'm sorry, we'll use the Black Hearted Woman to assinuate that and see what we can get out of that. And I'll try to go through a couple of different settings with the triode switch. My thing with that is I found that I like position two the best, and so almost everything I've experimented with has been with position two. All right, so I will go ahead on a whim and start out with position one for you. I've pretty much got the volume set at Unity and uh, the gain, the drive here is what, about 10 o'clock or so. And uh, we'll play around with it. First, I'm gonna give you an idea on what this amp sounds like. Just the guitar, my trusty 335. And that'll let you know what the pedal's actually doing for you. Thank you. 
actually given that blackface type uh, tone stack to it, even though I'm running it through a blackface amp, nonetheless, it's still driving it and it does have a hint of that British gain to it. Um, let's experiment a little bit. I'm gonna leave the level where it's at because that's pretty much unity gain with the amp. So I'm gonna play around with the, uh, the gain real quick. We'll turn it down. We'll put it at nine o'clock just to hear the, the differences between nine o'clock and 10 o'clock. control real quick now this this voice control is very interesting to me because it, it, there's also one on the peacock I have a love and hate relationship with the voice control on the peacock sometimes I love it sometimes I hate it uh, I assumed it would be the same with this pedal right here but what I discovered with this pedal is that the voice control seems to kind of carry the pedal like if you change it just slightly it changes your gain structure and your tone structure so you get almost a completely different pedal just by moving it a hair. See, like, for example, it's right above 3 o'clock right now. I'm going to roll it back to uh, right below 3 o'clock. Still, you know, gain, level, tone where they wanted, position 1. And let's see the different sound we get out of it. presence to it like the description actually says um it, it's it's a little misleading for me personally because the peacock it has more mid-range type tone uh that's very very apparent with this it, it has more of a presence so now again leaving i tell you what i'm gonna go ahead and go to position two real quick like i said that's my favorite one but i'm gonna experiment with some different controls we're gonna turn the voice all the way up and we're gonna turn the tone all the way down, leave the drive where it's at, leave the volume where it's at, see what we get out of that one. Just a reference here. So let's, let's reverse that. Voice all the way down, tone all the way up. Let's see what that gives us here. because that definitely it's hard to tell the difference in that but when I was experimenting with that earlier I remember it kind of had like this nice boost if that's how you chose to use it so let's try that again <laughs> Also gives it a little bit more drive than I care for so let's back that down table let's see I'm gonna crack it just a hair 
Responds to the guitar, and I'm gonna start messing with some volume knobs down here. Now, everything I'm doing is on the bridge pickup at this point. Roll that volume back down now to five. Now I've got it on seven. To that me, that's got a pretty decent little woodsy tone going off. I could probably roll that drive back a little bit more and get something a little bit better out of it. Um, let's see. <laughs> by just rolling the guitar volume back a hair, which makes a lot of sense. You know, I, what I do know about Dwayne Allman and the Allman Brothers is, you know, their tone was, or their volume rather, you know, controlled everything. So when they had it cranked on 10, when you heard the honk, when they rolled it back, it cleaned up really nicely. So they were kind of masters at that whole game. And so this, this pedal really, really reacts to that pretty well. Uh, let's see. Let's try now. I've I found with the three position switch um, on the Peacock, you know, also a one, two, three, they are really defined on the Peacock. Each setting is its own entity and it creates essentially three different pedals in one. This one right here, it's, it's described as tone shaping your bottom end frequencies. And in order for that to happen, I, I agree it does do that. But in order for that to really happen with this pedal, you have to be running the tone and the voice pretty high up. Because if you, you know, if you roll them back, you've already got your low end covered. That triode switch ain't gonna do a whole lot. Uh, so I will demonstrate that real quick. We'll just turn those both wide open, and I'm gonna start in position two. I'm gonna leave that gain on about nine o'clock. <laughs> position three from my taste so you know i moved it up to about four o'clock and it just really opened it up and gave it this very very unique tone so uh there again this is just a snapshot of what this pedal is capable of i'm gonna do some more just because there's not a lot of videos out there on it at the moment 
More will be coming from other players, I'm sure, that chase the Dwayne Allman tone and can do the slide thing. You know, I can't do any of that, so I'm not going to butcher the, you guys to listen to that. Uh, if you have any questions or to check on availability, you can reach out to the company. The email address will be listed out below. Hey, if you want to know something or have any suggestions for me to try with the pedal, shoot me a message. Uh, you know, I'm all ears. I don't know everything this, about this. I'm a bedroom player straight up, so I only know what my ears tell me sound good.